given sin A equals 5 over 13, tangent B equals 24 over 7, A is in quadrant 2, B is in quadrant 3, find the value of the following. Okay, first, uh, we consider the given sin A is equal to 5 over 13, tangent B is equal to 24 over 7. So to make the computation easier, we need to solve first for cosine A, sine B, and uh, cosine B. Okay, so let's move for uh, cosine A first. Okay, the given that we are going to consider is sine A is equal to 5 over 13, given that A is in quadrant 2. So we are going to use the Pythagorean identity. So we have cosine squared A plus sine squared A equals 1. By substitution, so we have cosine squared A is equal to the value of sine A is 5 over 13. It should be plus. So plus 5 over 13 uh, squared equals 1. So cosine squared A plus 5 times 5 is 25. 13 times 13 is 169 equals 1. Then solving for cosine squared A, so we transpose 25 over 169, so this becomes 1 minus 25 divided by 169. So cosine squared A is just equal to 1 minus 25 over 169, that's 1 times 169 is 169, minus 25, that's 144, divided by 169. So, therefore, cosine A is equal to plus minus square root of 144 over 169. Simplifying, so cosine A is equal to plus minus square root of 144 is 12 and 169 is 13. But since angle A is in the second quadrant, we know that cosine is negative. And sine is positive. So therefore, we consider the negative value. So therefore, cosine A is equal to negative 12 over 13. Okay. So we move on to uh, the value of sine A, uh, sine B rather, and cosine B using the value of tangent B equals 24 over 7. So tangent B equals 24 over 7 and the given angle is in the third quadrant so if the angle is in the third quadrant sine and cosine are both negative so we're going to use the pythagorean identity a uh, 1 plus tangent squared b equals second squared b or second squared B, pabalik na rin lang, is 1 plus tangent squared B. Therefore, second squared B is just equal to 1 plus, so tangent B is 24 over 7. So that is 24 divided by 7 uh, squared. So second squared B is 1 plus 24 squared so that is 576 I think 576 over 49 okay then we add plus 1 equal 625 divided by 49 and therefore a uh, second b is equal to plus minus square root of 625 over 49 
which is the same as plus minus square root of 625 is 25 and 49 is 7. Since secant and cos are just uh, and cosine are reciprocals, we can get the value of cosine b as negative 7 over 25. So we're going to use the negative because in the third quadrant, cosine is negative as well as sine. So to solve for the value of sine, we just use the uh, Pythagorean identity cosine squared b plus sine squared b is equal to 1. Cosine b is negative 7 divided by 25 plus sine squared b equals 1. So that is 14, uh, that should be squared. So 49 divided by 6 to 5 plus sine squared b equals 1. So sine squared b is equal to 1 minus 49 divided by 6 to 5. So sine squared b equals, so 1 minus 49 over 6 to 5. So 1 minus 49 divided by 6 to 5. Was 576 over 625. Okay. Next, uh, we take the square root. So therefore, sine b is plus minus square root of 576 over 625. And finally, sine b is also negative, that is Square root of 576 is 24 and 625 is 25. So sine b is equal to negative 24 over 25. Okay, so so let so let not then so sine a is 5 over 13 cos a is negative 12 over 13 okay sine a is 5 over 13 cos a is negative 12 13 sine b is negative 24 over 25 then sine b equals negative 24 over 25 and cos b is negative 7 over 25 So we solve for letter A, sine A plus B. Okay. The formula that we are going to use there is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Substitution, so the value of sine A is 5 over 13. Value of cosine B is negative 7 over 25. The value of cos A is negative 12 13. And the value of sine B is negative 24 25. Okay, so using our calculator, that is 5 over 13 times negative 7 over 25, 5 over 13, negative 7 over 25, plus negative 12 over 13, times negative 24 over 25 and the answer is 253 
divided by 3 to 5. Okay, so this is the value of sine A plus B. 2, 5, 3, 3, 2, 5. Okay, next is uh, second A minus B. So second A minus B. So to solve for second A minus B, we just have 2 use reciprocals, right? That is 1 over cosine A minus B. So we just have to compute for cosine A minus B. Then after that, we just get the reciprocal of the value to get the value of second A minus B. So the formula for cosine A minus B is just cosine A cosine B plus Sine A, sine B. Okay, we just substitute cosine A is equal to negative 12, 13. Cosine B is just equal to negative 7 over 25. Plus sine A is 5, 13. And sine B is negative 24 over 25. Okay, so we calculate uh, negative 12 over 13 times negative 7 over 25 plus. 5 over 13 times negative 24 over 25. Equals negative 36 over 3 to 5. So negative 36 divided by 3 to 5. Okay, so this is uh, the value of uh, cosine A minus B. And therefore, the value of second A minus B is just a reciprocal of negative 36 over 3 to 5, which is negative 3 to 5 divided by 36. Okay, next. Uh, we have cosine 2b. Okay, so to solve for uh, cosine 2b, uh, we can use uh, either of the three formulas. Let's say we use 1 minus 2 sine squared b. And therefore, that is 1 minus 2 sine b is just negative 24 over 25. squared. So solving this one, that is 1 minus 2 times negative 24 over 25 squared. 1 minus 2 times negative 24 over equals negative 527625. 527 divided by 625. Okay, that's the answer. You can also use 2 cosine squared b minus uh, 1. Let's check. We're going to use uh, 2 cosine squared b minus 1. That is 2. What is cosine b? Negative 7 over 25 squared minus 1. And it will give the same answer. Let's see. That is 2 times negative 7 over 25 squared minus 1 is negative 5, 2, 7, 6, 2, 5, 
So you can see that we arrive at uh, the same answer. Next is Cotton Gen 2A. So we can now erase uh, some of the parts here to solve for Cotton Gen 2A. Okay. Okay, we solve for cotton gen 2A. Okay, so the value of cotton gen 2A is the same as 1 over the value of tangent 2A, right? And we know that tangent 2A is just equal to 2 tangent A divided by 1 minus tangent squared A, right? And since uh, we do not have value of tangent A here, but we know that tangent A is just equal to sine A divided by cosine A. And therefore, tangent A is the value of sine A is 5 over 13 divided by negative 12 divided by 13. So 13 will be cancelled. So the answer is negative 5, 12. So tangent A is a negative 5, 12. So by substitution, that's 2 times the value of tangent A, negative 5, 12, divided by 1 minus negative 5, 12, raised to 2. Okay, so we calculate that is 2 times negative 5, 12. Okay, 2 times negative 5, 12 divided by 1 minus negative 5 over 12. squared equals negative 120 over 119 so negative 120 over 119 and therefore the value of cotangent 2a is just the reciprocal which is negative 119 divided by 120 